In this video, I'm going to show two ways of selecting the area for your uh, download of the SRTM tiles in Earth Explorer. The easiest way is to just use this uh, window and go to the area of your interest. So let's say I'm interested in some area here in the Alps. That I zoom in, so it covers the whole study area. And what you can do then is to say here, use map. You see if I zoom out that it will put these four points of the polygon and then this extent is selected. And then you continue with the dialog to um, download your tiles. Another way is to use a bounding box of a shape file, like in the exercise. Uh, but then you need to know how to make uh, a polygon. And I'm going to show that in uh, QGIS now. So here we have some area in the Alps and I want to define a simple polygon with the bounding box. Um, then I can click on this button, new shapefile layer. You can also go here, layer, create layer, shapefile. You can also do other types, but uh, the Earth Explorer accepts the shapefile layer. And then you can give it a name. Bounding box, for example. And you indicate here that it's polygon. You give uh, here the projection. And we keep it on uh, latitude, longitude. That's okay for now. And uh, we keep everything as it is because it doesn't need any attributes. So I do okay. Now we have an empty bounding box file. And then I can start uh, digitizing. Basically what you can do is toggle the editing and then start uh, digitizing. So for a bounding box we just need four points. When you have clicked the last point you click right to close it. And then we just do OK and there's our bounding box. We toggle off the editing, we click save and then our shapefile is ready. The next step is that we need to save that and then we need to change it to a zip file. Okay, there it is. And then we can use that in Earth Explorer. So I'm gonna clear the coordinates here and I'm going to Add here the shapefile. I choose here shapefile. I select the file. And there it's loaded. And there we see our bounding box. So it's as easy as that. To estimate the right area, you need to know a little bit about where the sources of your catchment are and where the outlet is. So that's how you determine the dimensions.